Welcome to the Zeta Hall YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to look into how do we change working directory uh, or working folder. So what is a working directory or working folder? It is the current folder where our data file and do files and the example files are there. It is the directory or a folder that we are currently working on in this specific project. So it makes us, uh, it makes the, uh, we call it a working directory. So we can change the working directory. Uh, but before that, why do we need to change working directory? For that, uh, let me show you this data set. So I have this folder, which I have made for this specific tutorial. Uh, let's imagine that it is a project. And within this project, I have different example data file, and then we have different do files. And within this specific folder, I have a further subfolder, which is called a data folder, which contains some more data files. And then there is another folder, which is level two, which contains a file and another folder. And this folder also contains a file and a folder and so on and so forth. So we have till level five. So what I want, <sighs> To do is let's say in this specific data folder uh, I have a file called example one I want to import this file so what I do how do I import a data file I, I, I use the use command and specify the path of this example one data set right so let's import it and this file had been imported right we, we can see the data and let's say now I want to import this second data set Let's just say I perform certain tasks or just wanted to look into the data. I did that. I saw this example data one and now I want to use this multi stock prices data. So let's import this data. It had been imported and we see that we have closing price symbol date, etc. Now let's generate certain variable and let's merge another data set, which is this yearly annual data to this uh, monthly stock prices data which has also been merged. Now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to perform certain tasks, but let's just say uh, for a moment, let's imagine that someone changed the name of this folder. What would happen? Like, for example, let's, let's change it to just a data two, right? And if I wanted to execute these commands now, what would happen is you would have guessed correctly that it would say that uh, the file doesn't exist. It isn't saying that the file doesn't exist. Basically, what you're trying to communicate is that this specific path uh, or this specific file within the specific path doesn't exist. So the reason is simple that we have changed this directory name or folder name. Uh, now, there can be multiple occasions like this. Uh, this is one example. And let's just say we share this do file with someone, uh, some of our contributor or colleague. Uh, our core research worker and what he would have to do is that he would have to change all these paths, right? Right? So isn't there any way that we can have a command over here, just single command that would contain this path and then we can, you know, uh, do sub paths, right? Uh, wouldn't that be a better way? So yes, th there is a better way of doing that and that is to use the CD command which stands for change directory command. Now what we do is all these commands are exactly a replication of these commands except for I have removed these paths from the commands, right? Now they do not contain the path, just the file names and the rest of the commands. What I have done is I have used a CD command. So I specify this command, which is, let me just rename this folder back to its original state, right? So uh, what I have done is I specify this change directory command once, and then I can execute all the command as it is, and they would produce the same result. But the advantage would be that if I just share this do file and the data file with some of my colleagues, they would have to only change this line of code. They would ha just have to go in their specific folder, just copy this address as text and paste it over here. And that's it. Now the do file is perfectly replicable. Or let's just say I change the folder. I would just have to do remove this or change this, uh, this uh, single command. But in this case, I would have to change the path 
to all these commands. So that's why uh, CD command is a better way rather than using exact path. Okay, so how does the command syntax works? We write the CD command and then the path to the folder as I explained. And the path is simple. I just need to copy the address as text. We can check uh, whatever our current directory is by using the CD command. Um, I mean, not specify any path, just write the command name and it will tell you that our current working directory is D. Within D, we have change working directory folder and within that folder, we have data folder and this data folder becomes our working directory. We can also use PWD for same purpose, but I guess there is no need to remember a separate command for that. We can uh, change working directory from menus. We just have to click on file and then there is uh, an option called change working directory. Uh, then we can, uh, let's just say we, we somehow set uh, this level five as working directory, right? So this is, let's just say our working directory and this is what I'm doing over here. I'm specifying this working directory as this last folder. Now, if you wanted to move one step down, right, or one level up, whatever the, how, how, however you look at it, uh, what I'm trying to say is that instead of level five, we, we have some files in level four and want to access those files. So our current working directory is level five, but there are certain files in level four that we want to access. So what we do is instead of specifying the whole path as a level four, we can just change the working directory by specifying cd and double dot. And what it would do is it would, uh, it would, uh, so, so our current working directory is level five, then it would change it to level four. And if we do it like this, cd double dot forward slash and then double dot, it would drop it to level two, right? If we do it again with three uh, dots and slashes, then it would simply drop it. So, uh, so we can move one level uh, up using the CD double dots. Then we can have a relative uh, folder path. So for example, we have specified uh, this main data folder as our uh, working directory. Uh, and let's just say we know that there are certain files that we need to access from level T three. So instead of specifying this whole, for example, we know this is our current directory. So we can just go two levels up and uh, what we can do is we specify the CD, then level two file, a folder, and then level three folder. So we are using relative path over here instead of specifying the full absolute path. Uh, we are asking that from the current working directory we move towards this. So you do not have to specify level two or three, just the name of the folder. And we know that there is a file called level three data file. Now we can access that file and it had been accessed. We can list uh, all the files in our folder. So for example, this is our current working directory. And we know that in our main working directory, we have certain do files and certain data files. And from within this data, we want to look at uh, what files do we have. We just type dir and it would display the the files. So we have different folders and then we have this, uh, this do file and then another do file and then we have two data files. We can specify the wide option and that would just, uh, you know, display the same files but instead of having a detailed view, we would have a wide view. It would just remove these uh, other, uh, you know, uh, uh, matrix. Uh, we can also specify, uh, we just want to look at the, the data file. So static, which is a wildcard. So whatever the name of the file is, but they should be data files. So we know that we have two data files and it should display example two and example three. Or we can do uh, display whatever files start with the name example. Doesn't matter what its extension is. So it would display example uh, do file and the data file. So we have used the wildcards to get the name of the, uh, the files. So thanks for watching this video. Do hit the subscribe button and do hit the bell icon.